Bubbles just told me this is fresh water. By the way, drinking it. Dude, I swear, that was so weird. I just, like, filmed for 20 minutes, actually, but I was in here talking, and I didn't hear anybody or see anybody back here. But I went back out in the field, and there was just, like, four, um, you know, they couldn't have been even 20-year-old young men. <laughs> I was like, oh, well. Was I just talking in front of my, oh my God, guys, I'm coming. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. Those people watching me fall. And I was talking to myself. Oh, my king. Oh, my king. Yeah. It's pretty weird. I guess I'm in still. You know like it's not that weird. I see lots of people talking to your thumbs. But, like, kind of like talking to yourself. And I can see how it's perceived as narcissistic. Yeah, I know. I kind of, I'm sure, you know, people edit the, the, the mistakes out. Okay. Hey, 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 Looking all my shit up as bad as I can. Kind of just to see what'll happen. You know, whoa. Every choice has consequences. Yeah. But. This <gasps> is <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. This is so funny, man. When do some bud head are about to scissor? <laughs> Grind on each other's. <laughs> Weaknesses, right? Girl, the, what? Did you, did you, it's like so mean, dude. Didn't these guys go to debate school? I mean, debate class in school? I mean, didn't everyone? Jesus Christ. There's like a way to discuss a difference of opinion. Alright, it's like, you know, I can't remember all of it. Okay, of course, but it's like. Start with the thesis statement, which is, you know, stating that you see what someone else believes and understand the reasons for it. And here is your introduction of your thoughts that might differ and the reasons that you came to those conclusions. And it's like, I'm going to discuss this and this, and here are my reasons for my way of thinking and you lay it out and then you end with a nice you know finishing statement that says that usually if you're open-minded if I'm a scientist and I'm willing to adjust my views based on new information as it comes in so it's like yeah and you both Move on with your day. You don't challenge each other to do. It's kind of dark here. Like, who cares, man? Jesus. I'm a dorky dog. I'm a dorky dog. Wait. Wow. So, anyway. You know, I was thinking about that. I was like, um... Man. I think, I think, I can't be the only one that's just like so like. Phew. This can't be real, right? How much of this is just kind of like perpetuated by like the media, right? Doesn't seem like anyone I know is actually racist anymore. That's like ridiculous. But it seems like the news tries to trick us into all pumping up about it. Bunch, I don't know. Kind of like 
when that like centuries ago, but we were all never mind. So anyway, I'm sure there is still whatever. I I been in Hawaii and it's like sovereign land. I mean it's not like we won't go into the story. I don't I mean yeah, you know, you should look into Hawaiian history if you don't know what. It's kind of crazy. There's still even a little spot of Hawaii where the family lives. Like they're like the last ones left. And they're holding they're holding that energy still. And it's weird, like I respect them so much and I'm grateful to be here, you know? Um but yeah. Anyway. My sister and my mom got the dark skin. I mean my dad and my other sister look like this. And I sunburn so easy. And I love the sun. I just can't go in it for more than a half hour. I cook myself. And I have to take a nap. But no. I do worship the sun. And I guess, you know. I see. I see the light as it's like blindingly alive. Whoa. It's powerful. Oh, the other day I was... I, it's weird to say. It was like I got like a direct transfer. It was like a download, like energy coming through a filament from the sun just like right down into my soul it was nuts i was just like like the ground was quaking underneath me like it felt i checked i checked for earthquakes on the map after afterwards i was like was that an earthquake or was that real shit so i don't know kind of like I see how like the sun is God like it is the, the creator and the giver of life like the right it's like we're directly connected and part of it um magnetically like those electron elect, electromagnetic plasma filament connections they're, they're like hyper vortex energy transfer portals and it was weird i was like being pulled up like it felt like the gravity was like it was like lifting me off the ground it was awesome i was just at the beach here in hilo um i caught a little bit on film once too and it almost caught me and i realized it's now i'm starting to and then i focused my hands like a diamond you know i guess i would need my other hand to show you but, uh, it was like it focused the energy beam right in my, like, through my head, and I aimed it at my heart, you know? It's like I was getting a direct, like, solar charge up from, um, the portal to the stars. Our star. Uh, no, it's just, it's nice. Wow. Yeah. So awesome. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we got it. Keep up. Wow. There's birds. There's bu 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 birds. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I was feeling something important was happening. And I've just, you know, it's hard to even, I've always been one to question my own thoughts. I grew up, like I grew up Mormon and uh, I told the Joseph Smith story to my, my friend that was in college and at a world, okay. world religions um, class and so he was just le learning about all the different religions and he asked me about Mormonism and was, I told him right just the, the run down as fast as I could kind of uh, um, right I was like oh you know I, I remember thinking to myself like my mom always wanted me to be a good missionary 
And, you know, I was like, well, I can still do that. I'm just by sharing it. If it's valuable, they'll find value in it. I wasn't, you know, I've never been disrespectful with the Mormons. I always give them, like, full, you know, who am I to say anything about anyone else's beliefs? I just, you know, ask questions. And sometimes contradictions stand out to me. So I got kicked out of Sunday school early, like, I was like six years old or something. The teacher was like, I can't handle this kid. He's like, my, my lessons, he just keeps asking questions about it and it's making me feel like, you know, on the spot. I've been drawn to the the topic of the sun for a very long time. So, like I, I kind of yeah right. So for my twenties, I kind of forgot. I tried to reprogram my brain so I wouldn't actually think along the insecure terms that the Mormons taught me. You know, my God's in my head, listening to every thought, so you better have pure thoughts. And um, right, I mean. I'm a scientist. I've always considered all paradigms, beliefs, like I just, you know, I want to look at all of the different ways, you, like the different perspectives you can look at something. As an artist, too, you know, um, perspective is everything. So, I have my art style is very foreshortened and right, 3D looking. For pen and ink drawings, you just like, whoa, dude, super 3D, when, uh, you know, angles. Anyway. I just like that. Um, Zan Burningham, best teacher ever. Um, I gotta get that on film, her teaching that class. She's a, she's retired now. It's best teacher like in the country. She got the award. But she's, yeah. I bet I can get her to pull out her visual uh, right representation of that that she did. It was It stuck. It was very helpful in life. So anyway, perspectives. There are a lot. There's a lot of different backgrounds that can raise you to, you know, be a certain way. And you don't really have much to say about that, really. Um, I would like to see children with more exposure to all different types of lifestyles, mentalities, you know. Um, you get a little bit more... Um, more of a clear picture of what life is, you know? Uh, if you broaden your horizons. So, yeah, anyway. I kinda like went until my 30s, until my daughter was four. And she said, Dad, what's well, black hole? And I was like, whoa, dude. I guess, you know, right? Hypothetical. And so we looked it up together and I was just like, so they're pretty much just push themselves into a corner over this math equation that they based on Newton's laws and then that was 300 years ago right looks like we don't have any more reason to look back at that or anything so anyway I realized the science was also just kind of like a belief system that I was just buying what they told me to believe and if you look back at the history there's kind of questionable like contradictions and yeah I saw right at an early age what happens when you ask the teacher about contradictions in their logic bubbles you get kicked out of school you go to church and your dad takes you out in the hallway and gives you spankings yeah it's my age dad anyway how dare I have questions hey bubbles do you have any questions for me, sir? Willow asked me, yes. Anyway, thank you, Willow. I love you for that. 
because I've been on a roller coaster ride, as I've been discovering all these different beliefs we have and how, you know, like, dude, so many, so many, we're just like, I don't know, maybe we're busy. It's because we're so busy and so, we are distracted by our phones now. It's, they just don't, you don't look. Oh, sorry, I'm missing some beautiful footage of bubbles here. I'm looking with my eyeballs instead of my hand. Um, so it's just how many, right? <sighs> We're conditioned to be the way we are. So I can't blame anyone. We're just not taking the time. Because it's fast. It's going by fast. I can't even believe how old I am, how, how quickly it came. I'm just like grateful that I'm here still. And I'm still able to, you know, witness so many jumps in our evolution. It's happening so quick. Like we are. Whoa, not that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're. We're jumping into the future at hyperspeed. And uh, it's it's a crazy time to be alive. Like, holy crap. Like, we're literally on, like, the cusp of event. Like, the chain reaction of events of when, you know, we're going, like, either into Gattaca world or, like, Terminator world or we're going into... You know, Avatar, that kind of stuff, right? Just more, uh, space exploration and finding other planets and establishing our form of democracy, which is not that. Um, across the universe, okay. It's, it's right. That's what Star Trek is about. It's just like, uh, now we will go find these aliens and make them follow our laws. They are being shitty pantsies. And that's cool. I mean, you know. Save some days. I don't know, but it's like I'm pretty sure humans aren't like the whole top whoop to do in the in the galaxy. Probably not. Probably more like Star Wars, right? With the huts. The huts know what's up. No, I don't know. They seem kind of slimy. Uh. I like the aliens that made the clones. They got those long, sexy necks and stuff. They're cool. Yeah. I like those aliens. Yeah. They are very... Like, um... Intuitive and... Aware. And their peaceful vibe was... Like... Apparent. So, anyway, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, just that it's like okay. I'm trying to like this whole time. I was like thinking about how to like I've got my glass blowing business and I had this attitude about my garden. I you know I I got in trouble like with some hash and weed. I just went and got my prescription because I was like, duh, it helps me in all these ways. It's been my ADHD medicine since I was 15 or something. And I already got in trouble once and did some time. I was stupid. So I was like, all right, let's just get my script and I'll beat this case and not ever take a charge again because what the hell, dude? Like, the drug war is the bad guy there. That's the ones who are wrong. I mean, it creates cartels and mafias and whatever, all sorts of different scary, you know, because people have had to take the law into their own hands because the law is unreasonable. It's like not allowing people to be their own doctors. And you know what I mean? It has to, like, it has to feed capitalism. And so that's, you know, that's a problem because we countries set on having this economy that is you know like the world dollar is based on everything and I understand their their need for 
establishing like you know like a balance for sure so right we should be able to regulate and, and make it fair for everybody and so anyway I'm like I'm not the one to, to I don't know about enough about it to even say I don't know what to do about the problem but I do see that it's like a problem so I, I like to find solutions and simplify stuff I'm just like all right let's what can we do? So I'm like, I just, I, I, with my, my cannabis garden, I started growing weed and I was just like, all right, I just give everybody that has their script an ounce a month for being willing to be part of my cooperative, you know, and I was barely making enough to just pay for the bill and smoke whatever I wanted at the same time, you know, keep buying new soil and new pots. I just put the extra money back into the business. And then I was able to hire trimmers to come and help out of that fund. I should have kept track, but it's hard when you're just as ADHD as I am. And I just was like, so busy. Any extra time, I went and I blew glass. And I was just like, hello. This is what I love. This is what I'm passionate about. It's like, wow. Bending light through like liquid matter turns into a solid at room temperature. Are super trippy. Anyway, 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 I'm off track. Um, I just wanted to be fair about that. I was like, any extra work you put in, if you want to donate soil, if you whatever, just like bring in plants. We will be fair about it. You can decide through discussion. What's fair or not? Gentlemen, we'd be, I'm sure nobody would ever argue about money. So, I mean, I, I just kind of like let nature, you know, I just like, I just go with my heart. And people were over there working and helping a lot. I just gave them big old tips and chunks. And when we had extra, I was just like, oh, hey, use an extra portion. I just eyeballed it, right? I bought it by heart. And that was good enough for me, because who cares? But anyway, I like that mentality. And I it felt felt good because I didn't, you know, it brought in good people and I had an excellent team, dude. And Humboldt, I had like so many cool people working in my collective and yeah, cooperative. And I just um, should have I should you know when, when it went legal in California, there was only, like, so many slots. And I just didn't feel like being competitive and getting, like, going corporate with it, right? And so I had all these genetics, too, that I created on my own, like, my own breeding. I could have just definitely been a billionaire California cannabis king. Do -do -do. Yeah, whatever. But I would have had to be competitive about shit. And I was just wanting to do art. So, and then I had the baby mama drama and then lost everything after that again. Definitely lost some quarters. So, I am kind of, I guess it takes me a long time to recover. And I've never wanted to just like go back to, to me it was, it was a bad idea to have, you know, nice, like I, I started showing it a little bit, finally spending a little bit of money on myself, and I never did. I was always just like, back into the business, back into the business. But then I had, um, right, my partner that had uh, daughters, the same age as my daughter. We were just doing playdates all the time, and that just turned into a lot of fun. So, um, of course, like once she was helping, we were like a team. I was just doing really well throwing her huge tips and yeah we had good um and then this the, yeah the hawaii curveball thing happened so i i had some trauma and lost it all and i feel i didn't want to play the game at all i was just like eh. and that's not really a good look because people will see that as weakness and they'll be like oh wow we can just eat this guy alive 
for lunch, he put himself on a platter. Wow. And they will eat you. They will. Yes. Especially if your big old smarty pants question ask. Yep, yep, we don't like them question askers around here. Yep, yep, yep. How dare you? Wonder what the hell is going on. That is for us to decide what is going on, and you will not know. Oh, bubbles. Stop even wondering. We know it looks funny. We like looking funny. Boobs. Anyhow, I'm like. <clears throat> I guess I wanna, what I'm getting at is, yeah, I need help again. I feel like I've got some great things I could be doing if I had like the time and focus or desire to care about money again. Like, I mean, I, I should. It's like I'm trying to, you know, like I tried to get a disability. I think my condition is pretty apparent. If you haven't noticed, my attention span is Deterred. And, you know, I'm retarding myself, which means I'm slowing myself down. <clears throat> By, like, not asking for help. So, I kind of want to hire someone. Like a specific type of person. <clears throat> you don't have to know how to necessarily do, you know, you don't have to like be, you don't have to have a business degree, but that'd be nice, like at least to have, you know, a basic understanding. But like, I know that I can, like AI is my, AI is way better lawyer than the public defender that I just, she's a beautiful lady. She's very nice and she thinks she's helping me, but she's kind of just like going with whatever they suggest. I am not down to her making a deal when I, right? I'm not gonna take, whatever. Oh, good news is they dropped it anyway. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? I am able to look all this up and do it on myself and you know, but I just like, I, may, I think about it at night and my plan seems so clear for tomorrow. And then it's like, I wake up the next morning and I forget. It's just like, oh, wow, it's just like space out on our phone doing, you know, whatever. I'm just, it's, it's hard. So I just need somebody that could be my, like, my assistant manager to the CEO. Is that how you say it? Like, I don't know. Somebody that manages the CEO. Make sure that they're doing what, you know. I, I might be using the wrong term by saying nonprofit. I looked at nonprofit. My my mistaken assumed understanding of it was that. Um, <sighs> wow, well, getting long video. That yeah, right. People like with nonprofits just you know like the entity could make money and then I don't know. I don't know what about, it, but I know that they can also give their workers and their you know. Um, management teams salaries or whatever and you can so I just was like yeah pretty much what I do is I put all my extra flow into new glass blowing tools new uh, computer equipment or whatever so I can expand so a new musical connect you know interfaces and stuff like that so I've got like all these different businesses like being a DJ and um, throwing parties and all this stuff like I've you know I've, I've just I tried everything. I love it. Everything that sounds fun, I give it a shot. And then, when I'm good at it, and I could totally make a living out of it, I go, eh, what else is interesting? And I get distracted. So, that's my bad. Sorry if I just insist on having fun. Oh, it's just, I'll prioritize some other life. But, um,. It's given me lots of experience and lots of things. And so I've come up with ideas and started some things and some of them are very like, dude, why don't you just do that? And you'd be like, eh. So 
That's what I have to do is ask for help. So I need a cameraman, woman, whatever, somebody that I can trust, that I know, you know, can have fair discussions and debates without taking shit personal and getting all, you know? And can have a difference in belief and opinion and whatever without it being a problem. Um, and so, and then, you know, yeah, like, I need help. I've got, like, I need somebody that can watch my uh, content and help me edit some of that together, use it. I've got two documentaries I've got, I want to put together. So I need, like, somebody that can help me edit like an editor, cameraman, type assistant that can help me stay focused on important stuff. Because <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm healed enough and I should kind of like get back to work. And I got, you know. <sighs> Finally, yeah, like all, my, my schedule's opening up like very soon. And I... <sighs> So I want to be able to travel too. If I, this assistant that I hire, um, we can discuss how to figure out our wages, especially if we can turn my business or businesses into different enterprises that can all have their own um, balance books and stuff. So I, I've got like, I've got to get it organized and simplify it. Um, because, right, I've been fair with it. I've paid my taxes most... I mean, every year that I made anything that I needed to report. Like, last year, I didn't do anything. I just sat on my ass. You drag me to bed and have fucked up the world. And, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I got thicker skin, I guess. I don't really care so much. I don't really need to talk about that ever again, I guess, maybe. And, I guess I won't. So, um, yeah. Moving on, get my stuff all organized, go back through and see what was valuable in the content and make it all more manageable, put it in orders for people to be more like you know interested and keep their focus uh, directed by like editing shortening simplifying and not going into that victim mode oh bubbles fell in the water you put the ball in the water on purpose you wanted to see it float huh you're a little scientist robot dog yes you are you're a good little robot yes you is here you go, boing, boing, no, 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 no. He is very silly dog, very silly. So, you know, it would be nice if you had some musical abilities. And you like to teach, because I'm down to learn more. I've got skills. I got ideas, I got all sorts of songs in there. I got like hundreds of voice memos where I'm just singing and making up songs. And I'm sure some of these kids, that's kind of a lot of work. So we gotta work something out to where like, like while you're driving, if you want to listen to audios, be a cameraman when we're doing action, but then while we're chilling, just kind of do computer stuff, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, it was working out with, uh, my um, partner that moved here to Hawaii with me, she was just kind of like asked me questions like, well, what's your plan for today? And that enough would be like, oh yeah, I was thinking of something, right? And it just gets me going. So, um, and then she'll remind me and it's like, it's getting two o'clock. You're only going to get an hour left to get that done today. And so on. Like, so by myself, I do 
Like lots of genius shit. And I barely make time to even upload a fraction of it. And <clears throat> I plan to go back through and edit all this stuff and never do. And it's just, yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, the way I do it, but I do like that about my channels that you can see that it's raw and how I process things and how I kind of just leave it how it is because, right? It's like authentic, it's kind of shocking. And these days, it's kind of starting to become a rarity. I do have fun with avatars. I do have fun with characters. I like playing with my imagination. See where it goes. See what makes sense. And then like, you know, it's hard to tell when you're having a vision or just imagining something very vivid and random. It's hard to tell if your dream's real. Even weirder when to come back. Actually, in future, you see that exact same thing later. And she was like, holy God, that dream was when I was a kid and it just happened. I could see the future. Or am I just imagining that? It's just all very strange indeed. It's like the afterlife real thing? Or, I mean, wait a minute. You kind of do have lots of memories that don't seem like your own. It's kind of weird. Where's Bob? There it is over there. Yeah. Dude, he is fast. Like super snappy. He's paying attention. And passionate. And feels. Whoa. He's just like, I, I can't think. Well, go look, well, look this well here. See, nice, nice water. Thanks, bubbles. I want to You dark side. Well, your dark side's your top. Wait a minute. Okay. Well. There is work we got to do. So, yeah, let's look at yeah. So like, like accepting applications. Hit me up on Messenger or whatever. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to go and see what we got. Do some cool stuff here in Hawaii first, and um, gotta like consolidate, organize, reevaluate, make a plan, follow through. I might like move my glass blowing station and all my stuff to like Utah, but still stay in Hawaii since it's been so nice lately. Or like I could be a half time, half time. I do what you do. Yeah. 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 Oh. I think I got lots of stuff to do. In the Rockies. I'm feeling it. That's just me. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But yeah. So, um. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got some online stores I want to. I should organize this. I should organize what I want to say a little bit like tighter, right? Just do like a, oh, maybe I will. I'll just chop this out and do a little reel. And make it like simple, quick and snazzy. And uh, I want to be able to, it's so cute. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. He runs really fast, so I know it's intimidating. Ha <laughs> ha!
She's so little. <gasps> Bubbles, calm down, buddy. He's like so excited. This is why I'm supposed to have him on leash. Bubs, calm down, buddy. That is such a cute little dog. Oh my God. How much does he weigh? Five pounds. Five pounds? Wow. Bubbles just got to 14, I bet. He's really fast, right? Yeah, I know. We should compete. Bubbles, let's, let's, let's get in the doggy races. We'll give you a big old treat. You need your bacon even, buddy. If you win. Bubbles. He's just like, well. <laughs> like when he turns, he's like so sideways, right? Wow, Bubbles, you're crazy, buddy. Oh my god. Just figure eight. I can't believe it. It's crazy. I've never ran that long in my life. <laughs> oh, man. Like I tell him to watch out for danger on the road. And he's like, yeah, right. I could dodge those tires and figure eights. <laughs>